everyone, this is Sin and welcome back to my channel Stampin' Munchkins. Today we are coming together with a few of my friends to bring you some holiday cheer. Our hop starts today, Saturday, November 28th and goes through Friday, December 4th. This gives you plenty of time to watch and comment on all of our videos. The giveaways will be announced by December 10. And for all the information and the winners, please go over to tailormadecards4u.com slash blog. In my description box, you will see the link to the next person in the hop. And pay close attention as some of us will be giving prizes on our own channel. Everything is in the description box below. Make sure you click on show more so that you see all the information. Thank you so much. You can head over to Monica's blog for more information and that is also linked below. Okay, enough chit chatting. This is the card we're making today. Lots of shine, lots of glitter, and a big mess. <laughs> I hope you enjoy. Let's get started. These are the items I'm using. Card critters and Christmas add-on and the dies. Reveal Wheel, Holiday Sentiments, I'll be using four stamps in there for the inside of the card. This Slimline Hillside um, Dice, Let It Shine, Lawn Fawn, Paper Pattern Booklet, my Concord and Ninth Glitter Paper in White, Over the Meadow, Stamps and Dice, Memento Black, Tuxedo, Lobster Lawn Fawn Ink Pad, Chunky Glitter Lawn Fawn, Lawn Fawn Glue Tube, Multimedia Matte Ranger Glue, Copic Multiliner in Calligraphy, and all the Copics I used, and Zig Two Way Glue. My Teflon Bone Folder, Score Buddy, and my Misty 2.0. First of all, let's get all the images stamped and I'm going to be using my Misty tool and I will copy color. So I'm using my favorite black ink pad to do that, which is Memento Tuxedo Black. And I'm always using my um, scraps, Nina Classic Crest Solar White and 80 pound. And these are new and very sticky. So I'm using my Tim Holtz um, retractable pokey tool to get it off my fingers. And because there's not too many solid surfaces, I'm not conditioning them. Oh, the wreath, I had it upside down. So <laughs> when I inked it up, it was all black. So I uh, turned it around and I'm, I'm uh, inking that and stamping it. So I'm using a lot of images today. When you get a chance, I would love it if you could like, subscribe, and hit the bell notification. So again, just stamping everything using my scrap piece of paper. That reindeer and sleigh is from over the border, over the mountain border. And this little bear, I decided to stamp him too. Again, I've never used this before, so I am using my wire cutter for my beading to cut them apart and now I'm thinking how do I want it portrait or landscape so you will see that I am going to do it landscape but I do um, I'm kind of like figuring out how much space I need I could have done a slim line but I decided not to so I'm doing I'm, I am um, inking this landscape and I change it up later on Meaning I don't, I was going to use this as my card base, but I decided uh, to cut them out. So this is one part where I got kind of messed up because the stamp is long and skinny. It didn't, it kind of distorted when I stamped it. So next time I'm going to die cut it first and then stamp it. So it, it didn't turn out perfect so what I did was I uh, cut it out I cut the trees out which you'll see later and this um, slimline hillside die fits perfectly with this hillside so I love how lawn fawn is 
seamless. Like all of their dyes and stuff just work so nicely together. So you can see here that I am um, cutting it out using my X-Acto knife. And I'm going to use this multi-liner, which is a calligraphy medium point, to do the edges, blacking out the edges as I did um, cut them right to the black stamped image. So now, oh, I sorry, I colored everything off screen um, because it would have taken forever. This video is long enough as it is, longer than I normally have it. Um, again, I'm using my Sakura pen to erase the parts that I went over the line, color outside the line. And now I'm just placing everything where I want it to go before I add things to my card. So this car, um, car I decided to make it yellow. The Copic coloring, I used a lot of Copics, it seems like, but there was a lot of images that were um, colored. So that's why it looks like a lot of pens. But it actually went, um, I used the same color combos over and over on each image. So I'm using my um, tweezers to hold the glue part together. Okay, so again, I'm using my pen to erase any lines that I went outside. This reindeer, I wanted to cover the steering wheel, so I did cut him off a little bit so that I could place him low on the sleigh. And like he's waving, hey, look at me, I'm driving the um, sleigh. Where is Santa? And of course, it has to have a lot of presents for all the good kids. And like, oops, I forgot it to bring the present up. <laughs> I was having a little issue with gluing that little piece together. So again, I had a little overage of the glue. So I used my um, diaper wipe to clean that up. And now the messy part. I'm using my zig glue to add the chunky glitter. I really like the chunky glitter. Um, and it really wasn't too bad. I used a Swiffer cloth to get all the glitter and embossing powder out and it works really well. And I wanted the trees and everything to look like that it um, was hit with snow. If you hear that whining or whistling sound, that's my um, laptop fan. It's working hard <laughs> while I'm um, uh, doing this voiceover so I apologize I always have some kind of background noise so I apologize for that so I put everything on the I put some glitter on the snow cap mountains also and I love this um, like that minty blue cardstock or not cardstock paper pattern and that'll be my sky and I cut two um, snowy hill borders using that same um, slimline hillside die and I will be the bottom one will be um, added with foam tape for a little dimension and that's where I'll be tucking all my images inside and I'll cut the excess off I did cut the um, the background the minty background with the gold dots to A2 size. And I did score the side folding card, Nina Solar White 110 pound. And I did score that at five and a half. I'm going to be adding the mountains. And again, you can see how seamless that die is, that um, hillside die. Just works perfectly. So now I'm just using my copy paper to make sure that the glitter is on good. And I'm fooling around and putting all the elements where I want it to be. And you'll see I change it all around. But I put the little deer behind the tree, like they're peeking out of the little pine trees, so cute. And then the car has a little wreath in the front. 
and it's taking home a Christmas tree. The reindeer and the bear friend is in the car. So these two little reindeers are picking out of the Christmas trees or the pine trees. And I'll be adding this hillside, snowy um, hillside hill to straight to the um, panel so it's flat. And again, this is where I will be putting everything. I kind of fool around with the placement. I do cut off the excess on the sides. I like to start big so that I have a little wiggle room and I'm getting the placement together. So this is, again, figuring out where I want everything. This is probably the hardest part. <laughs> um, let me know if you want to sh show you how I color things um, using Copic. That is, Copic is my um, coloring choice as I feel that's, that's the, I'm, I'm the best with Copic, but I'm no expert. And I just play around with the color and get it the way I, I like it. So now I'm going to be gluing everything down um, flat to the, it, nothing is popped up, only that bottom snowy hill is popped up. And I'm placing him right underneath tucking everything under that snowy bank and this tree will be slightly behind the car and that little reindeer will be poking out in between the two pine trees so cute I um I am thinking that this is how the mainland looks with all their cute little um, snow and you know again living here we don't have snow i wish i made that standing reindeer a little closer to the other tree like he's looking for his friend but um he's a little far away and now the car will be put down straight and that's it guys um except i will be putting the inside and this one says I think it says hoping your Christmas you'll see I'm going to be um, using lobster ink as I wanted it to be red oh hope your Christmas is warm and cozy and again non font sentiments because it has the straight edges I'm using my creative corner to make sure it's straight um, and again it's sticky so if you put your um, your top of your misty before you remove the creative corner straight edge, it will be um, perfectly straight. So again, I'm using my creative corner to make sure it's straight. I double check that it's straight, and it says, "Hope your Christmas is warm and cozy," because it looks pretty cold. My card looks pretty cold. I'm using my Lawn Fawn glue tube to attach the front, the panel to the uh, card base. I didn't want to put a sentiment in the front using my phone to um, weigh it down. And there was a little bit overhanging in the top. So I used my long scissors from Tim Holtz, which I love. And I just cut it, cut it off, the extra. And that's it. Look at all that shine glitter. Love it so much. If you don't like the loose glitter, you could use uh, stickles to get it all um, stuck better. But I really like the chunky glitter and that's why I went for this. I hope you enjoy my little card, my Christmas um, card for the Christmas video hop. I had so much fun. And I have a lot more videos coming out, so I hope you decide to subscribe and hit the bell notification so that you are notified when I upload my videos. Again, this card is a um, video is a little long. I hope you like these shots, and I forgot to take a picture of the inside. But I hope you enjoyed. Here's a video you might like, and 
a card making playlist i would appreciate it if you would watch and click on my face as always to subscribe thanks everyone have a wonderful day aloha